I believe that what they are doing is opening the third eye of the entire population of Earth. This is why in Revelation chapter 7, you see 144,000 Israelites sealed with the seal of God in their foreheads. In their foreheads because they need the spiritual covering for their pineal gland. Now, as you can see on the screen... These are the definitions for the year numbers in the Strong's Concordance. If you haven't seen by now, the Strong's Concordance is all very prophetic and is actually connected to the years and the events in the years. The year 2022, look at that. Open the eyes and to awake, just like the garden. God declares the end from the beginning, and all these patterns repeat themselves. In the garden, they knew that they were naked because their eyes were opened. Well, what happened is they lost the covering of light. That's why Israel has to be sealed with the seal of God. They need to be covered, their pineal gland. Now look at the next one. To be made naked. Well, there you go. The eyes were opened and they were made naked in 2023 now. 2024 is chaff. That's what they were. They lost their clothing of light and they knew that they were naked. And in 2025, leather skins. What were they covered with in the garden? Animal skins. Symbolically showing the covering of light or the covering of Christ, which is connected with Revelation 7 being sealed in their foreheads with the seal of God to be protected. Because look at what's next in 2026, 27, and 28, as I've shown. To blind or film over eyes, then 2027, blind men, and 2028, blind you see that it's the garden of eden pattern repeating itself now the bible is not silent as i've shown about the pineal gland we know that in the old testament jacob which is flesh and blood wrestled with the angel of the lord which is spirit we have a picture of flesh and blood wrestling with spirit and the place that they wrestled was named Pineal. That's how God does it. We had a story in the physical play out to show us the kingdom of God within us. You want me to prove it some more? Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not. Ah, wrestling back to Jacob and the angel of the Lord. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against powers and principalities, against the spiritual wickedness in heavenly places, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Do you see there? What is Paul saying? He's saying it's an internal battle. And where do you think that wrestling happens? Look back at Jacob and the angel of the Lord, at Peniel, the center of your mind, or the third eye. That's how God does it. Now, moving right along, I believe that this has everything to do with the mark of the beast. Because it's where? In your foreheads, right? Israel is sealed in the seventh chapter of Revelation with the seal of God in their forehead to protect them from what is happening to the entire earth. There's nowhere that anybody can run from what is going to happen. And it even talks about that in the Bible, is that the Antichrist and the powers that be come with all power. All power, think about that. Signs and lying wonders. It is going to be the signs and wonders and all power just like God has. Just like the Old Testament. When the magicians 
in Egypt threw down their rods and they were three serpents. Moses threw down his rod and it was a bigger serpent that ate, they ate the other three serpents. The witch of Endor, the witch, had power to raise the spirit of Samuel from the dead. This is real power, folks. This is what the Bible's talking about when it says all power. And this is what the Bible's talking about when it says that Satan masquerades as an angel of light. And his ministers are ministers of righteousness. <clears throat> That's why the whole world is going to be deceived. Everybody whose name is not written in the book of life, that is. So this is quite an amazing revelation to me. Putting this together. I saw this pattern in the, con in the concordance a long time ago. But it was today that I said, this is actually what's happening to the entire world is that they're pineal gland their third eye is actually being opened with all of the technology and all of the things in the food and the water and the air this is quite amazing to me and it's so perfect because we know that god declares the end from the beginning this is the end folks this is it if you're not raptured out of here you're in big big trouble if you're not one of the 144,000 sealed in their forehead because they're going to be here. That's why they have to get sealed. Because they're going to be here. And that's why we have to leave. Because the world is going to be just like the, the beast system. This, this is what it's all about. It's not about putting a clunky microchip in somebody's forehead or hand. You have to think everything that they show you, you have to think, what are they not showing you? This is it. This It's a spiritual thing to do with energy and light and powers that we cannot see. Just like the directed energy weapons that they can, you know, laser beam down. You can't really see them. You can kind of. But we're talking about invisible powers. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. The air has power in it. The ether. God made this place alive. Magnetic. Fields and such. And what does it mean that Satan is a prince of the power of that? It means that he knows how to contain it. And manipulate it. And use it. And that is what they are doing. This is... Now, the last thing that I want to add is that... If you go to the year 2021 in the concordance, right before the eyes are opened here, the definition is apparently to be sharp or strong, a weapon of war. Well, gee whiz, that's 2021 in the concordance. What happened in 2021? I think there was a needle involved in something, wasn't there? Do you think that could have anything to do with opening the eye? Hmm? Oh, yeah. 100%. This is what's happening. It's all over. This is the end of the world. One, two, three, four. <laughs>